Uh, what's up guys uh, welcome back this time boy again i'm slaying kayun and day welcome to another video uh good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you are watching this video from well guys uh good things are about to happen to kiss daniel you know what firstly he announced that the auto arena is about to shut it down then again the most uh juicy one is that as at this year june 22 kiss danny made a prophecy he said god i want to perform buga for world cup let me say amen you know david was already built to perform and they also made a team song together with other artists david was already in paid thousands of us dollar or even millions to be in that event and to also perform on that day kiss danny want to be included among the Nigeria performers, uh, performers who we also performed that day. And guess what? They prayed on it June 22nd this year. And guess what? He just announced that he's in. He said, And the Lord said, Yes, see you in Qatar, Buga Cup. You know, because that already dropped another single again that is currently making headlines. He has this whole special dance. Well, the, the dance is quite easy, unlike like the same thing as Buga. You know, Buga just do like the, the dance. It just it, there's a way you, you just hold your body, hold your yarns, then twist it around a little bit. But big up to Kiss Daniel though, is making headlines. Then the other one is Oto Arena. He said we doing the O2 Arena next year, London. Ticket going live soon. <laughs> you know, they, we have been having this whole issue, this whole debate that who is the next artist that can sell out O2 Arena apart from Bonaboy, David O and Whiskey? Who is the next artist? I believe Bonaboy, David O and Whiskey has gone past O2 Arena. What about did MGAM in, in New York City? And Whiskey is about to do that same stadium in New York City. David Doe is now started, he recently started his own uh, festival in Atlanta. And tickets are already up for sale. You know, all those guys are all have, have passed O2 Arena. I think Nigeria artists are selfish with themselves. If somebody like Asaki, Asake, Fireboy, Joe Boy, Rema, just share themselves into three, three, they can sell out Otu Arena. But they are selfish. It seems like they don't want to come together. They don't want to do business with each other. I think they can sell out Otu Arena. So it's, it's good that King's Daniel is coming out to be the next big stuff, the next big Nigeria artist to sell out Otu Arena. It's a big deal. And I believe that King's Daniel will do it. Most definitely sell out Otu Arena. So I can't wait. Let it just be. Then, talking about our own Nigeria artists, you know, I'm really liking the vibe currently that we are getting. Like, if you are not bowling on Afrobeat, then you are not bowling on nothing. Even McMill knows about this, you know. McMill, alongside David Wan, P Square, Rema, Stone Boy, Asake, Adekule Godan, CK, Black Sheriff, and other good artists are about to perform in Accra, Ghana, 29th and 30th December. Well, McMill decided to just tweet about it and he said, Ghana, DC. All them bikes up. I'm shooting a video there. If you from America and you rock with us, come for the experience. David O, we need a song before if you ready. This is not the first time McMill is reaching out to David O on collaboration. Can you imagine? Then David O was the one begging McMill for collaboration. David Doe had to pay McMill 200,000 US dollars for that whole collaboration that didn't go nowhere. That didn't go nowhere. Just waste of money. David Doe paid McMill. And now, David Doe is that big that McMill is the one even begging. 
begging David Doe to be to be in his own record. So what do you think David Doe should do? However, David Doe has already told people to tell McMill to call him. So I don't know if McMill have called him because David Doe and uh, McMill had a beef concerning Blow, Blow My Mind, featuring Chris Brown. McMill was supposed to be in that song, but because Chris Brown wanted the first verse and McMill wanted the first verse, David Doe was forced to drop McMill, then use Chris Brown. They had a beef on that song. So now, what I'm saying, what I'm saying in this scenario now is that, what do you want David Doe to do? Since McMill have already, then when David Doe needed recognition, needed this USA vibe, recognition, McMill build David Doe so much money. Now, McMill wants David Doe's help, David Doe's record. What do you think? David Doe should do? Should David Doe put friends first before business? Or David Doe should charge, bill McMill and tell him, you know what, I pay you 200,000 US dollar then, but now I'm way more than that. And I think you should pay me 200,000 or 400,000 US dollar for a record. Or David Doe can just simply just do it and do it a split sheet. Like if the song, Whatever royalty and whatever we get, we split it. What do you think David O should do? You know for a fact that make me build David O then. Never consider if they will be friends in the future. Never consider if they will be cool in the future. Never consider if Nigeria Afrobeat music will become the next big thing in the universe. Yeah, universe, of course, not just only on earth now. I bet you all those astronauts are busy playing Afrobeat up there. Who knows? And all those uh, UFOs are coming here to tap from, from our Afrobeat music. Who knows? Things like that do happen. Hmm? So with the universe, Afrobeat is one of the biggest jar out there. Well, big up to them. And uh, let me know exactly how you feel about that. Then let's talk about Drake. You know about the Kardashians, right? Kim, Courtney, Chloe, Kendall, uh, Kendall, of course, and some of that Rob, the Kardashians family. Can you kind of well just reveal a secret that Drake slept with the mother of the Kardashians? The mother of the Kardashians, the mother of Kim Kardashian, Courtney, Chloe, Kendall Jenner. Kylie Jenner and Rob Kardashians that Drake was banging their mom. Mm. Drake, Drake is the greatest rapper ever. And you said, and, 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 and I, don't, war, I don't, I don't apologize about it. You said in war he held fuck your baby's mother's mother. Yeah, that was hard. <laughs> that was that was hard. What does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like, 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 we was confused. <laughs> you know what it means. So <laughs> God damn it. And, and I put like Corey know what it means. Oh, oh, this is oh, the first what? time so, Kanye West um, is accusing Drake of Angry Sarian from the Kardashian. Drake once once accused Drake of sleeping with Kanye West once accused Drake of sleeping with his wife, Kim Kardashian. Yeah, he once accused, accused him of sleeping with his wife. Then Drake was also said to have had uh, sexual intercourse with Khloe Kardashian and also with uh, Kylie Kardashian. So, half of the Kardashian's family, Drake has been linked with four Kardashians, including their mom, making four. <laughs> no, uh, the Kardashians, uh, they are very, very serious with their sexuality because they are not shy. When you, are, when you date the Kardashians and you know for a fact that as soon as you break up with them or with any of them, just give them one week. In fact, one week is too much. Two days, they are on to the next one. They are very, very serious with their sexuality. They do not starve themselves because of love or whatsoever. When you are not available for them, they move on to the next one. You know the 
and the American entertainment industry, those celebrities run through each other. They sleep with each other just one last time just to enjoy themselves because there's money around. No, nothing they bother them just to have money and have their own sexual pleasure well taken care of. So that's just how it is. So, but do you believe what Kanye West is saying? You know, Kanye West is currently having an ad bust. We do not know if he's going through this old mental thing that they always say about him. But do you believe what Kanye West said? That Drake slept with Chris Jenner. That is why Nigerians were so very protected of uh, Thames when Thames was hanging out with Drake. We, we know that Drake can knock anything out of the skirt as long as you get big nyash. If you get big nyash and you find Drake go enter you. So we were so protective about uh, Thames, you know, but that didn't happen because Thames clarified it that nothing happened and Drake never ever asked her out. But let's move past that and uh, let's go over to Oslid. What is wrong with Oslid? People are complaining about that guy. They are saying that Oslid knows I've been seeing. Although Osley Kuloso is one of the biggest hit in 2022, but he cannot do it live. He can't do Kuloso live. And here is another video again, you know, Toby, Pastor Toby, a very popular Nigerian pastor based in UK, Bill paid Oslade to perform in a private uh, set for himself and his family. And fans were not that happy with that performance because they didn't think that the backup singers ruined everything and also Oslade wasn't really sounding similar to the original sound. Well, check this out again. Oh, you just realized your favorite artist cannot sing live to save his life. Jesus. <laughs> well, the guy tried now. Just imagine performing every night, every day. You know, Nigeria people, they know the rest. They need that money. They also must continue. They are not like uh, one big international artist that will just perform one show, get millions of US dollars for only just one show, then rest for the next one month before performing again. Nigeria don't get, don't get paid that much. Many Nigerian artists don't get paid that much. So it's just few thousands of dollars and they need to perform regularly to meet up with all those big uh, uh, artists. You know, working every night, don't expect his voice to be that sharp now, at least in the try. Hmm? In the try. Well, guys, to end this video, big up to this guy who decided to show off his girlfriend. And according to him, he said his girlfriend has been with him. So he just decided to just praise this girl. Check him out. Go follow our Yahoo. My girlfriend, not like to follow Yahoo. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Oh. It's my girlfriend. She's not following her room. See my room. I never get plasma. I never get anything in my room. See. But my babe love me. I love my babe. Sorry oh. now. Ah. Shut up, Tazi Elujuni. Sorry, sorry. First one you know now. Take. That's the best you do. Sorry. God could punish the devil. See. See your wife. Your girlfriend can cook like this for you. See? Oh, oh. Sorry, baby. Why then? Show Why you cover your face? Hey, I beg go show off your girlfriend though. Don't allow anybody to discourage you, no matter how you be. Show them off. You know? Well, I don't want to hear what anyone needs to say about anything, but uh, he's showing off his girlfriend. That's good. That is his own way of saying, I appreciate you for being with me. That's why I do not have nothing to give to you for now. You are hustling with me. Everybody just have their own way of dealing with their relationship and moving on. So I respect him for doing that. Thank you guys for watching the boy again. I'm Slink. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Bye.